All right, guys, there she is. That is the Wink Hub 2. So I'll do a review on this at a different time. But overall, I'm going to say I really like the Wink Hub 2. The one downside is it does not have HomeKit support. In other words, you actually can't control it with Siri. But I'm going to show you a way today to get this bad boy set up with Siri using the HomeBridge. So let's get Alright guys, so here's a hookup of my Raspberry Pi. Uh, this is what I'm actually using to run my Apple HomeBridge. Actually HomeBridge, which connects to Apple HomeKit. And so I've got my Raspberry Pi connected to my screen. So anytime something gets triggered or something changes or something happens, it actually updates. So I'm going to give an example. On my Apple Watch, I'm going to say, Hey Siri, shut off office lights. And the command actually did update there and now you can see the office lights actually went off, so it's dark here. So now I'm going to say, Hey Siri, turn on the office lights. And you see the command updates and I it, it's now brighter in here now. So I'll actually show you the office lights. Hey Siri, turn off the office lights. Hey Siri, turn on the office lights. So it's kind of cool. So I got other parts of the house wired up. All right guys, so I'm really excited to show you guys how I've integrated the Wing Cub 2 with Apple HomeKit using HomeBridge. So if, for those of you who have the Wing Cub 2, you'll know that you actually can't use HomeBridge today, which is kind of a bummer today because you really want to be able to use your Apple Watch or your phone uh, if you don't have an Alexa, which I do have, which happens to be sitting right there. I do have an Alexa, but I don't have one in every room. So um, I'd like to be able to control things from my Apple Watch which I use on a daily basis anyways. So we're gonna use my watch and I'm gonna to demonstrate to you how I can actually turn off these kitchen pot lights uh, and as well as my uh, kitchen island lights as well. So here we go. Hey Siri, turn on kitchen pot lights. So there you go, kitchen pot lights have come on. Hey Siri, Set kitchen pot lights to 50%. There we go. So I don't know if you guys saw it, but it dimmed down a bit. Now we're going to shut off these island lights that are in the center, these three lights. Hey Siri, turn off kitchen island lights. So they go off. So because it is off HomeKit, it takes a little bit of time for it to, uh, to process, but I actually find that sometimes some of these lights are actually faster than the Wink app itself. Uh, so why don't we take the pot lights back up to 100% and then we'll turn it off and then you can follow the step-by-step -step process in terms of how to get your Wink 2 integrated with the Wink Hub 2. So let's turn these on at 100%. Hey Siri, set the kitchen pot lights to 100%. There we go. So it actually got brighter if you just saw that right now. So it's actually really cool. Um, the other thing that I'll show you right now really quickly is it actually connects to anything that's connected to your Wing Cub. So for example, the Nest thermostat. Hey Siri, set the thermostat to 22.5 degrees. And that's it. So the nest is at 22.5 degrees. We're gonna take it down to 21.5 degrees. Hey Siri, set the thermostat to 20.5 degrees. Okay, now we're gonna take it out to 21 and a half because that's what I wanted to do. Hey Siri, set the thermostat to 21.5 degrees. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, 
Go through the description, read through everything. If you have any questions, send me a message and we can chat later. Please like and subscribe. Bye.